Hello and welcome back to the land of Seeker and our wonderful Mr. Vegetable Man in the head. Yes, indeed. Okay, so otherwise, what I've been doing is a little bit of off screen. Nothing too drastic or anything like that. I basically just fought a bunch of bandits and didn't really get that far. But I, as you can see, did level up my bow skill a little bit. I also gained a level. I spent the focus point in medicine skill. Seems like medicine is going to be quite quite useful here at least early on because that is going to make things just that much easier for them to maintain or shall we say for us to maintain our army and uh, hopefully to retain a lot of the higher tier troops because otherwise they're just going to die as soon as they reach relatively high tiers and that's obviously not what we want anyway we do have two perks to spend here i'm going to be going for something along the lines of probably cavalry most of the time i'm not going to be on foot using my polearm. I am actually going to be trying to get a slashing polearm if I can, because I personally feel like that's going to be quite fun to play with. But at the moment, don't know whether it's going to be possible. So we'll just try our best just to live pretty much. Anyway, uh, troops in your formation get 5% accuracy with bows. Troops have their bow, speed, bow reload speed increase. I don't really care about reload speed, to be honest. So I'm going to be going for accuracy here. And yeah, oh yeah, uh, I did get a, a medicine perk as well, which obviously I always take this one. Generally, both of these perks are good, in my opinion. Both of these perks are good, so it's not really necessary to really decide between them too much. Anyway, I have redone the quest, okay? I redid the Lonely Icy quest because I needed to do that again, because obviously the, the game crashed before when I was attempting to rename my settlement and I was unable to save before that time because I just wasn't on the world map at all. So yeah, anyway, now we have this and you can see here that um, she actually asks us to buy 10 hardwood. Um, so I've done that and what we're going to do is we're going to go and speak to Sally and then say, hey, I, uh, I have the hardwood here for you. I went all the way over to that village slash town because the town next to that village has a lot of hardwood as well. So it's not necessary to go all the way to the village like I did beforehand. But I also did complete that quest again where I was able to eliminate two uh, brigand parties and that got me a, a decent amount of cash. Anyway, hello there. Yes, here you are. Ten units of hardwood. Is that enough? Yes, my master, we are slaves, so we can't trade in towns. I hope you can buy some supplies for us in the nearby market. Also, I want to tell you, I finished the construction. Ah, yes. Okay, so obviously this happened before um, and I didn't realize it. Um, I didn't realize that that happened before. So now we have our player home, which is actually fantastic. So let's actually just take a quick look here. Uh, they built a mansion for you in the village. You can go and have a look when you have time. And Sally wants you to go to the market to buy some supplies they need. Okay, easy enough, right? Easy enough. So we're just going to go over here. And oh, hello there. Wait a minute. This is an event of some kind. Get out of my way. Well, wow, looks like you're in a hurry. Yes, a band of slavers are chasing me. I won't go there to trade if I knew this earlier. Trade? Are you a merchant? I think I need your services. No, you're not. I'm a person under the slavers' hunt, or being hunted by slavers. No more talking, I must go. They will be here soon. Yeah, on the slavers' bounty list? They're chasing you? Okay, I'll deal with the slavers. You offer your services to me. Deal with the slavers for me? Are you okay? Uh, well, that person really exists. Uh, I'm very surprised, apparently. I'll wait you nearby. If you can deal with the slavers, I'll offer my service to you for sure. All right. Right. Um, I'm actually kind of okay with this. Slaver searchers. I think I should be able to deal with this. Maybe... You follow Darian out of the town. Darian seemed to walk along the street with you casually. In fact, he observed every movement around. After tur turning two corners, you also obviously feel that someone is following you. Darian motioned for you to follow him. Just as you two walked into the market, a child suddenly scattered a bucket of fruit on the ground in front of you. All right, let's fight. Are we in the... Uh, please don't let us be in the marketplace. Okay, we're not in the marketplace, thankfully. Phew, okay, I was a bit worried about that for a real quick second because I thought to myself, I really do not want to be in a close quarters situation with a polearm equipped. That would be an absolute travesty and that would be very, very bad indeed. All right, so I have three archers in my party now and what we're going to do is, you know, standard stuff. I'm just going to go ahead... I will try to kill as many enemies as I can. Nice head. No, that's, uh, I was going to say nice headshot, but no. There's a nice headshot. 
Nice. I've gotten a little bit better with the bow, by the way. I have started hitting a lot more, just generally because I have a little bit more practice with it. And, um, yeah, I'm getting a little better at avoiding taking damage as well. Yes. That's a something, uh, something that we probably want to be pretty good at, isn't it? So, yeah. Anyway. Ah, oh, nice. We gained a level. We gained a level. No, no, no. Get, get out of there. Get out of there, archers. I don't want you to fight. In melee, that is. <laughs> uh, okay, let me just shoot these guys. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're, we're taking a bit of damage right here. Okay, thankfully my forces are okay. Um, they're not super high level, by the way. I've obviously just been leveling them up normally. I mean, there's obviously no uh, no experience gain or anything like that going on here, so it's going to be the same for everyone. And otherwise, here we go. All right, we have a lot of different level ups. I'm going to be going for some more bow-based units. That's always sounding pretty fun for me. And we also are get they're tier three. Those guys were tier threes. Okay, wow. They um they really throw some some pretty harsh harsh enemies at you uh, relatively fast, don't they? Okay, so anyway, we have a mace that I could potentially utilize. I'm actually quite liking this mace. It has a 97 swing speed, which I quite like. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to use this instead of the shield. That might be really, really stupid. I'm going to keep the shield anyway, just in case. But I'm actually thinking that the shield hasn't been that useful for me so far. So we're going to see if we can maybe just use the pole arm and use the mace in close quarters combat. And then just hope that we don't get shot in the face. Anyway. Wow, that was... Uh, I mean... Um, <clears throat> wow, that was a good fight. You really defeated those slavers. Thanks to the Lord. Uh, well, you're welcome. Just offer me your services. I mean, uh, buy some... I mean, sell some goods to me. You must be the person that helps the Seekins. I've heard of you. Yes. Well, really? Uh, I guess I finally got my lucky day. So why are the slavers... Uh, I mean, uh, <clears throat> that's me. So why are the slavers hunting you? The reason is I violated their rules. The slavers prohibited trading activities between slaves without masters and merchants like me. I don't like slavers and offered help to the slaves. That's why I'm trying to escape from them. Once I helped a slave and her daughter, then someone informed the slavers of my violation. So they started hunting you, and you can help me buy supplies? Of course I can. I know your problem. The slaves are not allowed to trade in the market. I'll buy the supplies you need. Just tell me where you are, then you'll have your supply. Besides, I have a, my own request, okay? Tell me I'm listening. As you see, since some jerk informed the slavers, they started hunting me. Looks like they won't give up easily. So I guess I can join you. I can offer my services to you, and if you accept, some of my friends on the slavers' bounty list will join you too. All right, glad to hear that. Uh, we welcome everyone who want to aid our cause. Thank you. I'll prepare your supplies as soon as possible. All right, I'll meet you in the settlement. Okay, yeah, so that's that's great. That's actually fantastic. So now let me um, let me actually just take a quick look at what, what he's going to do now. You saved a merchant who was chased by the slavers near the town, and he decides to join your settlement and trade with it. Go back to the settlement to see his progress. Okay, well, that's that's actually fantastic. That's real, real good. Okay. I should probably sell these prisoners as well, to be honest. Okay, so we have player storage. I can enter my own house. I'll press the enter key by mistake. Let's not do that. And uh, we also have a garrison. Ooh, now that is cool. Okay, that is very cool. So there's the trade screen, as you can see right here. Um, do I do I buy everything from, from this guy? Or um, I'm actually not entirely sure. Um, well, we can buy some stuff from him, I suppose. I mean, yeah, I, why, why don't, yeah, I guess we should just buy everything and then we'll see. There we go. All right. So do I, do I, um, go back to the settlement to see his progress? I mean, I guess go inside, right? Or, I mean, I went here and I bought some stuff from him, but I actually don't know whether that means anything. Does that actually mean anything? I don't know. That's the thing. I, I, I really don't. So I guess I will just go in here and uh, we'll go and speak to... Ah, we need to speak to him. Okay, I was a bit of an imbecile, but it's okay because all that stuff I can potentially sell onward or uh, generally just make a good profit on somewhere else. Anyway, finally, you came. I've been waiting for you for a long time. The last uh, two minutes, actually. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Monai told me uh, you've started your business here. 
Yes, I've never seen such a good village. The Seekins arranged a house for me. I delivered the supplies they need. I will help the trade in uh, trade business here thereafter. If you need anything, you can also buy it from me. By the way, Sally seems to be looking for you. All right, I ca okay, I see. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so there we go. We completed that. Gained a thousand, a thousand dinars, which is actually about the same that I actually spent on the stuff that I bought from. That I bought from the marketplace. Okay, let's not talk about it. Anyway, let's go over and speak to Sally. Chickens, chickens, don't worry about me. Vegetable coming through. There we go. Let's speak to her and see what she has to say. Okay, anything I can do for you? Do you have enough supplies? Yes, we now have enough supplies. Also, a man who claims he is a member of the Knights of Seeker offered his help. He gave us two spiritual beasts. Wow, not one, but two. Okay, spiritual beasts... Yes, Master. Those creatures were bred by the Knights of Seeker. They can help you um, help your party in battles. The knight brings a spiritual cat and a spiritual dog. You can choose one. The Knights of Seeker send you two spiritual beasts. It's said that those beasts can provide benefits for your party. You can choose from one. Okay, spiritual dog, of course. Thank you. You've attained the spiritual dog. You can enter the pet menu in the camping menu um, and press U key to manage it. Oh my, I'm actually really excited about this. I have no idea what this means, but I am very pleased. Okay, I'm going to save, just generally, because I am worried about crashes now. Okay, so, um, how do I... There's the camp menu, okay. Whew. Right, pet management, hello there. Oh, look at him, look at him. Oh, look at how cute. Oh, that is very cute, okay. So, wow, I actually need to feed him. I, okay, I'm worried about this now. Okay, so wait a minute. When the hunger, thirst, and mood is above 80, your pet is in perfect condition. When above 50, it's in normal condition. When lower than 50, it's in poor condition. The pet will provide speed, morale, healing rate, and spotting bonus to your party based on its conditions. When relation and pet experience all reach 100, it will upgrade. The pet can be upgraded to 10 levels. Each level above 1 will increase your party size for 5 and reduce party wages. What? Train. Yes. I don't actually know what that does, but yes. I Okay, there... Okay, wait a minute. Um, can I... Oh, I can't do anything about that. All right, uh, okay, okay, that's fine. So, we can play with it as well. Increase... What? Oh, no, a thousand dinars. Okay, yeah, no, I can't do that. Uh, your pet is well fed. Okay, fantastic. Right, okay, yeah. So, I can't actually spend too much, too much money doing that. I can actually train troops... Um, obviously this is not available just yet. Resources and tools, obviously I can uh, make some tools there if I want to. And then we can have a look at the game settings here as well, so you can turn your torches on and off, flags on and off, and fire arrows on and off if you want to. And you can also inspect your troops here as well if you so desire. This is actually the first time I have gone into the camp menu. The camp menu in Warband was a lot more... Uh, a lot more necessary, I suppose you could say. But now that, um, now that these kinds of mods are actually coming out, it seems like the camp menu is definitely going to be something that will be quite, um, quite important. Alright, so uh, I guess the best thing for me to do right now, I'm going to save again. The best thing for me to do right now is probably to try and build up my settlement. Now, I'm not entirely sure, but I've seen a little bit on the modding team's discord that the upgrading of the settlement is a little bit finicky. I'm not entirely sure if it's actually working at the moment, but I'm going to try it out and see whether they provide um, the, the benefits. So let's have a look here. Uh, after player home reaches level 10, player home will become a golden a, a go okay, a golden palace. I don't, I, I don't really care about that. It sounds cool, but I don't care about that right now. We're gonna, we're gonna try to um, improve things for the people first, shall we? Okay. Um, every level of market will pro will daily. Ah, uh, it's 50, 50 dinos is pretty good. Oh, wait a minute. This is really good. Can we upgrade this? Two hundred points of food, wood, and stone to upgrade it. Yep, let's do that. Okay, it's gonna take twenty four hours to be built. Hopefully not real-time hours. Surely not real-time hours, right? Yeah, no, I don't think so. All right, so yeah, I'm perfectly happy with that. Okay, so now let's just take a quick look at the journal. So now we can actually see... Um, a letter in the letter that said they want, to con they want to contact to whoever received that letter, but you don't know where and how you can find them. Continue your journey, and you may find 
a lead. Okay, good to know. And... Ah, there we go. Uh, told you how to deal with the slavers. You must first go to the tavern and find the messenger from the Knight of Seeker for help. Okay, so first of all, I'm not going to be going ahead with the main quest at the moment. The main problem is, I mean, I don't know whether you, you noticed, but we're actually having difficulties winning battles at the moment. So what I'm actually going to do is I will deliver the herd, first of all, to Naota. Oh, that's all the way over there. Wow, this is actually a really really large faction didn't realize it was so so large but whatever the case yes we're going to be doing a couple of tasks first of all fighting some bandits along the way and then we will be oh, there we go the clinic has now been completed okay fantastic and then we will be hopefully at clan tier two at that point and then once clan tier two has been achieved that is when we will go on and progress through the main story a little bit more because as it stands right now I don't think I have enough units to be able to deal with many of the encounters that could potentially befall us if we decided to go ahead with it now so hopefully that's uh, hopefully that's understandable and hopefully that's going to work out for us relatively nicely and otherwise let's go into Naota and uh, deliver our hogs hello there yes I will talk to you thank you uh, there we are Yes, 10 hogs. 750. All right. Yeah, that's not too bad. Personally find that uh, to be a pretty decent a pretty decent amount. And we're going to sell our prisoners here as well. Uh, do I want to do anything else here? I could do a tournament. What do you think? Should I try? Should I try and be an absolute imbecile? Maybe. It might be an idea. Um I mean, what is there to lose? Oh, there are nine... <laughs> oh no. There are nine lords with renowned fighting skills. Do I want to just get killed instantly? Sure, why not? It might be funny, alright? It might be funny. And we can actually get an insanely good warlord helmet if we achieve victory here. Okay, I will try extremely hard to win this, okay? I will try extremely hard... Oh no, I shouldn't have said that because you know what's going to happen now. I'm going to get headshot in, in, in an instant. Okay, so I have a one-handed. That's actually probably the best thing for me. Um, I should have helped my guy over there, actually. That would have made most the most sense. Oh. Okay. Yellow team. Yellow team, help me, sir. Help me. Um, I need your assistance. Wow, they are wearing some. This guy is. This guy has some very creepy looking armor on. That's that's for sure. Okay, here we go. You know, behind you, sir. Behind you, there's a yellow team that wants to murder you. Okay. Uh. Oh. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I'm dead. <gasps> we. We. Oh, I think we're through actually because we survived until the end, and there's only two. There's only two teams. I might even be able to win this. One. Okay. Hello. Uh, you say, uh, yeah, look at that. I was trying hard. <laughs> I was trying really hard. <laughs> okay. Whew, that was that was real close. That was real, real close. Okay. I am not looking forward to this next round. Let's just say that. Please don't give me anything bad. No. Why are you ganging up on me, sir? Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. You just fight. You just fight it out. I'll deal with the winner. I'll deal with whoever the winner is. I'm perfectly happy with that. Um, yeah, I mean, maybe I should actually do a little bit of damage to the blue team. Oh, wow, the blue team guy is absolutely murdering everyone. Ooh, we did it. Okay. Whew. 
All right, not too bad, not too bad. Oh, I'm fighting him again? Oh my, okay, yeah, it's a one-on-one, -on -one, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's a one-on-one -on -one now. Okay, this is actually the furthest that we've ever gotten in, the, in a tournament in this mod, so I think we probably have to be pretty happy with ourselves anyway. I'm still worried about it though. Oh, okay. Whew. Uh, you know, uh, I gotta say that's um, that. I don't even know. Okay, <laughs> I don't even know how we're doing that. But uh, all right, that's kind of good. I don't know who this is, but he can't be harder than the sparked fellow, right? Surely. Thankfully, they're still giving me one-handed and shield. Okay, here we go. We're gonna start with an overhead. Oh, okay, I was very much hoping I'd be able to get a free little hit on him, but... Of course not. No, 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 of course. I have no words, all right? I have no words. Uh, th th these guys are just... Yeah, okay. I mean, I can't do I can't do much about that. Oh, well. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I mean, that's all I can say. I can just say I'm sorry. I'm, I'm very disappointed myself, I gotta say. I am very, very disappointed myself, but in general, uh, it would have been amazing uh, for us to actually win that because that would have given us some really decent renown. Uh, at least I think so. Probably would have given us like three renown or something like that. And we, need, we, need, we only need five to be able to get to the next clan tier. But yeah, that's, that's, uh, 
that is how it goes. I was trying really, really hard, but obviously in these kinds of extended fights, the human is always going to have more of a difficulty actually winning, especially with these low skills. Like I, that's the thing. I have 38 in one handed. That guy back there, he, there's no way he has, um, there's no way he has uh, 38 in one handed. Not, not in a million years. He has a lot more than that. So let's just say that. Anyway, I'm going to put another point into medicine. I'm going to think about, you know, what's best for my, uh, for my army over what is best for me. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, I'm actually, you know, I actually want to look at this guy. Can I, can I look at this? There he is. This is him, right? He has 230 in one-handed weapon proficiency. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I was fighting against this guy. I mean, he's... He, he's just... He's just difficult. I mean... What can I do, right? What can I do against that guy? And the other guy that I was fighting has 200 in one-handed weapon proficiency. So that was the reason why this guy lost against me, I guess. Just the um, the difference in the uh, 40 one-handed weapon, uh, weapon skill. That might have actually made uh, all the difference in the speed at which they were able to attack. It could also be that I was just getting psyched out, you know? That could also be the case because I was... I, I, it was such a high pressure situation and I thought to myself, oh, you know, it, it, one of these, one of these hits is going to be my death. And that was, that was very pervasive through my, through my mind at that time. That was literally the only thought I had, basically. Just consistently thinking to myself, I'm going to die if I take one hit, one more hit from this fellow. And that was the um, the primary reason, I suppose, why I ended up losing. Instead of me thinking, oh, I'm going to win this, you know, I didn't think I'm going to win this. I, I just consistently thought I was going to lose. And that is exactly what ended up happening. So that actually, that actually, you know, brings me to the next point. Actually thinking a little bit positively sometimes in these kinds of situations and in life in general could make a bit of a difference to one's own performance and you may do better than you think obviously for me specifically i didn't do very well but you know i did get to the final round which is a big big improvement over the um over the previous <laughs> over the previous outings in the tournaments but oh well never mind can't do much about it now and we're just gonna have to do better next time and that's going to be one of those things where I'm literally, uh, you know, spending the entire series trying to redeem myself. Ah, yes. Wonderful, wonderful things. <laughs> okay, can I? Yes, there we go. I really wanted to take out that two-handed weapon user. That would have been very dangerous. Thankfully, I have archers now. As you can see, my archers are actually seemingly doing quite nice damage. And we were able to achieve victory against these units without even taking any losses whatsoever which i gotta say i am very very pleased about now so it seems like we are now starting to get into a bit more of a territory with our own army where we're able to hold our own against the majority of relatively small sized bandit units like for example what if we try fighting these guys what if we try fighting these guys maybe they oh no actually no 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 actually never mind Never mind. They are deserters. I usually do not like fighting deserters for a, a multitude of different reasons. Usually they have better gear uh, overall than a, a number of um, regular bandit units. I, I, I wouldn't mind fighting 27 units, though. Do you want to? Oh, okay. Apparently they don't want to fight together. Well, that's, uh, that's somewhat disappointing, isn't it? Yes, yeah, it's very disappointing. Now, technically what I could do is if I wanted to upgrade my settlement even further... I could go into the resource gathering area and I could just take my pickaxe and take my um, my axe, my wood chopping axe, and I could chop down a bunch of trees, I could hunt some boar, and I could do that stuff. And that would enable me to uh, theoretically farm resources. And I will probably be doing that off screen a little bit. I'll just pop some music on or something and I'll just do that um, off screen just to have a little bit of, uh, I, it's, it's quite relaxing, I feel. It's quite relaxing doing that kind of thing, right? 
But um, yeah, obviously that's uh, that's very much a case of well, it really depends what you like to do in uh, for relax re relaxation's sake. But obviously in my off-screen time, I'll probably be doing that. Uh, just to gain a little bit more resources and things so that we don't have to do all of that on screen because that can be very uh, Tedious I guess I guess you could say so yeah, it's definitely not something that we want to show but otherwise Oh wow, you're really throwing that at me. That is not very nice. I did kill that guy with one headshot though Which I'm very very pleased about Deserters person is the most You know I was mocking them, okay, I was mocking them um, so, you know, it is uh, wholeheartedly deserved that I got headshot right there. I am very hopeful that I will actually be able to win this. I wonder whether my forces will actually be able to win. I think they will be able to. But I, it's usually relying on me actually being there, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's very much relying on me being in the fight that uh, usually gets me the victory, but no. Seems like we're okay. I was very worried about that for a real quick second. I was really, really worried about that. Okay, yeah, so we can now just do fast forward a little bit right there, and there we go. Alright, so we gained a little bit of extra resources from that as well. Bear in mind that fighting is also going to gain you resources. And I think I am now, yes, look at that. The Reformian clan has now advanced to tier 1, I believe. Yes, I think tier 1. Uh, we're going to go for, I think we're going to go for, should we go for shields or should we go for, no, no, we're not going to go for shields. We're going to go for the berserker type units. They, they're, they're fun, right? They're fun. Even though technically I should probably go for the shield, the shield units. If I want to be safe, then I would probably do that. But um, yeah, anyway, I'm not even entirely sure what I got hit by, to be honest, but it did 107 damage with a headshot. So that was, um, <laughs> that was some pretty significant stuff right there. All right, so my market earned zero gold. Oh yeah, I need to actually get the market up and running, don't I? There's the hospital as well, so now I can actually use this. 200, 200 dinars to heal 20 HP? Really? No, wait, it's not actually working. It's not taking my money. It's not taking my money. So, okay, don't fix this bug, please. If you're, if you're watching, mod team. Don't fix this. It's all good. Thank you. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> I need it. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, let's get the market, shall we? Yep, there we go. That's going to take 24 hours. And then we'll actually start being able to earn money while I am just running around. I probably should have done that beforehand, to be honest. That would have made much more sense than me just randomly... Um, not doing that, you know, and just having uh, having the hospital. But the hospital was actually quite useful now, just now, you know. It uh, got me back up to 100% HP, and I'm uh, pretty happy with that, actually. Anyway, that's probably going to be it for this episode. And uh, as I said before, I'm going to be spending a little bit of time off screen, just kind of gathering some resources, leveling up my settlement. Hopefully the settlement is actually going to provide its bonuses, because I did see, as I said before, on the Discord that there may be some issues with the settlements upgrades actually being calculated and, and being taken into account. So we'll see what happens with that. But otherwise, next time, we're probably going to be going over to the tavern. Now that I am the next clan tier, we do have a party size of 50. So I should then go around and recruit some more units too. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.